I took a little bit of a break. This was recorded the same day we finished the previous video. Now I'm back down here in the shop. I'm gonna get ready to try to route the inside of all these face frames so that we can plop down a piece of quarter inch plywood into them and have the face frames completely built. Maybe we'll get to installing them tonight. We'll see, hopefully we can. I seem pretty ambitious, don't I? The next step is going to be routing all of these out so that we can put the piece of quarter inch plywood in there. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Got my router set up. I just tested it on this one. We get this thing hooked up to a vacuum cleaner and then we'll be good to go. I'm pretty sure every step of this whole remodel I've thought to myself, this shouldn't take long. Then it takes 10 times longer than expected. Does anybody else have that problem? Maybe if I didn't run into situations like this, where all that smoke there, that's coming from my router bit, which got burned up in the process. Or if I didn't have to deal with things like this, the router that I have is a Makita router and I only have three batteries and one charger. I've already blown through all the batteries, so we're having the same trouble that we had with the table saw. I'm gonna let a battery charge. I got about three and a half more of these to go. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the measurements for the inside piece of plywood that we're gonna put in here. You've gotta make the most of every opportunity though, right? So before I returned to burning up my bit even more, I measured for the quarter inch plywood and made sure to take a little bit off so that I wasn't jamming each piece in. Then my battery was ready and my bit barely made it through the last few pieces. It's technically a few days later. I've been running out of time working on these face frames, but I did finally get them all routed out. So they're routed out, they're ready to go, ready to cut some plywood. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on that, cut the plywood, stick them in there, make sure they fit. And if they do, we're gonna glue them and shoot them. Okay, so I tested my first one after I cut all of them and uh, it fits pretty good. So the other thing I had to do is some of these screw heads, as you can see here, uh, well, the majority of them, they're actually not flush with the wood. What I'm having to do is I'm just gonna take a grinder and just grind them down to where they are flush. And the front, as you can see, once I have it all together, will look something like that which will be pretty nice. One thing I forgot to mention was that because I routed these corners after I put all this together, it made a semicircle uh, corner, which is fine. So I ended up just taking these to the miter saw, just cutting a little 45 on each end, and then taking a sander to kind of smooth it out, round it out, that way it looks a little bit better. I could have just left the 45, but like I said, I wanna to try to cover up most of this as possible. Now, I never claimed to be a woodworker, so all of this stuff is fine if it's not perfect. What I do claim to be is a painter. So, caulk and paint makes a carpenter what he ain't. I know that I could have routed out the pieces before attaching them all, but I thought it would be easier this way. I'm not totally sure if I was right, but one day I'll have a better setup than what I have right now, like a router table. So I got all the plywood attached, but I needed to kick into painter mode in order to make these frames look nicer. So the next step that I am going to do is I'm going to give these things a quick sand uh, with some 60 grit. So it's pretty rough, that's fine for right now. And I'm gonna sand both sides and then I'm going to fill all of these holes where the pocket screws were. I'm also going to go ahead and caulk around where this plywood is set in on this side. And then as far as this side, I'm gonna hold off until I actually caulk this, which I wanna do as well, just to make sure that there aren't any gaps or anything like that. So let's get started on that. Instead of boring you with all the details from all the clips I filmed about filling defects, Coda, do you really have to squeak that toy right now? Like I was trying to say, instead of boring you with all the details from all the clips that I filmed about filling defects and caulking and sanding and filling some more and sanding some more, I trust that you guys get the picture. I did have some time between the filling and sanding. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start cleaning up some of this mess because Jason will be here tomorrow and we're gonna do some more filming. So I don't want him to get that Ajita stuff that he's always talking about. 
So I spruced up the shop a little bit and then did some more filling and sanding and caulking with Big Stretch to make sure that it will never crack. And then I started to get pretty exhausted. I mean, there are 19 of these things. I wanted to get as much done as possible before Jason showed up the next morning, but... I noticed that when I got here, yeah, everything yeah. was already sanded and caulked. Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get it done last night, man, but it was, I worked till like 10 o'clock and I didn't get it done, so... I mean, priorities sleep or do your cabinets, but it's cool. Yeah. You know, whatever. I hope Becky doesn't watch us. But so, why didn't you want me to caulk anything? Uh... Do I really have to answer that? Dude, I'm a master caulker. I went out to Denver and learned all about caulk. I'm a master now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. Today is the day we're gonna actually install these things. We took the measurements last week, yep. but we don't know if these things are actually gonna fit. We planned on a quarter inch gap in between each one. Hopefully that works. Math, so Math has been good to us so far. So far. For your sanity, I pray that these things fit. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna fit. Yeah, they're gonna fit. You have spent a lot of time on these face frames. Yeah. And I hope they fit. They're gonna fit. They're gonna That's fit. it. They're gonna fit. So these are the ones that did not work out very well. As you can see, I mean there's a little bit of a gap there, and on top of that. As you can see here, these are a little bit inset by like an eighth of an inch or whatever, so it wasn't contacting the front of these frames. So, you know, it is what it is. We only made four of them. We didn't sand them or do anything like that. We just banged them together and then put them on just to see if it would actually work, and it didn't, so we ended up remaking all these. Like somebody said in one of the comments, they love how, and I think I've learned this from Jamie and Eric, like, just do it. And if it doesn't work out the first time, then just figure out what you did wrong and do it again. Like it's it's not worth, you know, racking your brain over and is it gonna work, is it not gonna work? Just do it. Just do it and if it doesn't work, do it again. Exactly. You know? So how'd you get these off? You got a pry bar or something? Dude, I just I just pulled it off. You just pulled it? That's yeah. it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> why we needed to remake those. Dude. Turn that over. The glue There's no need. glue on that. None. <laughs> it's all there. It would have been just the knob holding this whole drawer on. Yeah. That would have been it. We're going to go ahead and start with this one right here. And we have these quarter inch pieces that Jason ripped a couple weeks ago that we used on the first one that we're going to use here. So because we want a quarter inch gap everywhere, we can just... Oh man, come on. The United States is calling me again. Everybody's trying to give me money. So we're just going to bump these here on the top and then because we want a quarter inch on the sides, we're going to just flush it up here and make sure that all of our gaps are good. This one here, we don't need to worry about until we put in the next one. So that's kind of the plan of attack. That's what we planned for. Mm -hmm. So everything should work. Instead of gluing the faces on, we're gonna use Lexel instead, just cause, well one, it's hard to kinda get the glue on here whenever you're like holding it like this and I have to squeeze it. It's much easier to just use Lexel and I think it's probably gonna be better. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is awesome. We started to put the first drawer front on, which felt pretty good to finally reach that point. But it was also nerve wracking because we were just hoping that all the measurements we took were correct and that we were going to have that quarter inch spacing all around. Once the first one was in, we felt like we could relax just a little bit. We still had 18 more to go. Man, it's like a drawer. Yeah. Uh-oh, Coda just took one of our speakers. Hey, hey. One problem that we were running into was that I wasn't mean enough to operate the cheap caulk gun that I had laying around. It was fine for more detailed caulking, but we needed a real man's caulk gun to get the job done. I actually had one, but... So, I can see you kind of struggling with that caulk gun, dude. Yeah, this thing sucks. Why don't you get the one that Jamie got you? Well, he has it. <laughs> what do you mean he has it? I mean... Uh... He kind of gave it to me and then took it back. That's what I mean. <laughs> I don't I, even know where I, mine's at. I think I threw mine in the dumpster. This is such a struggle, though. I think we need to call him and see if we can grab that gun. Yeah. You think he'll bring it over? 
He's probably not doing anything but sitting around TV watching, you know, watching TV eating bonbons. Yeah, right. You, you met that guy? I've never sit, seen him sit down to do anything except eat lunch. <laughs> Which he does a lot, though. Yeah. He does do that he a lot. He does do that a lot. Dude, don't call him on my phone. He ain't going to answer. You know that. Happens. You know he's not going to answer. He's going to be like, hey, this is Jamie. Can't answer the phone right now. And then you call. Hey, golden boy, what's going on? What can I do for you? What do you need? You need something? You want me to bring it over to your house? Let's see what happens. Yo. Yo. Wow. You Yo. answered Jason's phone. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you bothering me for? Hey, uh, are you are you at your house? No, I'm up in Silva. I'm working on these sound panels. Is your truck at the house? Uh, my work truck is here. Oh. Watch Where's, me. uh, you still got my caught gun? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 It's probably yeah, in your, do. it's probably in your, your work truck though, huh? Uh, probably, actually, um, I'm, I'm actually getting ready to use it here in a minute. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, okay. Well, do you have a caught gun at your shop? Oh, I'm sure there is. Like a, a piece of junk. A better, uh, we, don't want a, we have a piece of junk already. Yeah, we, we need a good a, one. We got a Walmart Hyper Tough caught oh, gun. You're good, no, no. <laughs> you're good, <then. laughs> no. You're good. No, it's a struggle. <laughs> Struggle's real, bub. Oh, all right, so hopefully we can buy a better cock gun here. Well, anything's happy brother than the piece of crap you got. Yeah. So I signed your name when we bought that. Yeah, I saw that. I just wanted to see how it felt like to be you for just a minute. Feels pretty good. Did it? Yeah. That's not how I signed my name though. Ray Jones, baby, I'm Ray Jones. I got a cock gun. I got a little cock buddy too. Though we're not gonna use that, that today. That's what it's called. Okay, Ray's trying out the new gun. How is it? Dude, this is way better. Yeah, she got some push. Oh, it's got big push. Nice. Now, do you need the cock buddy for that? No, not, not for this. Okay, see, I don't know. Maybe it. later, though. I don't <laughs> Personal reasons. <laughs> All right, so we got one done. That was pretty quick. Yeah. Pretty simple. I am shooting nails into this plywood. That way it'll actually hold on to there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill those later and then do a quick sand just to make sure that you don't see those things. So we continued down the line and got all the rest of the fronts installed with no problem. I was extremely happy with how they turned out and how smooth it went. But we weren't done yet. There was still plenty to be done. Well, Jason was done, but I wasn't. Jason left after we got all these drawer fronts installed, which that's all I really needed his help with today. The next step is all those nails that I had just put in. I need to make sure they're all set and then I need to fill them with some wood filler so that I can paint next. Before we paint, I just got back from Lowe's. I bought some drawer pulls. So we're gonna install them first just in case there's any screw ups or anything like that. If there is, we can actually fix them and patch them before we paint. So that's the plan of attack, so let's get at it. I first went around and made sure that all the nails were set so that the heads weren't poking out. Then I could apply the wood filler. I wanna clarify that I wasn't actually going to install the drawer pulls yet, but instead figure out where I wanted them to go and drill the holes for them. You might notice some spots like this right here where the drawer front isn't really sucking tight to the face frame, and that's okay. Uh, one, these are gonna get bumpers, which a bumper probably is not gonna fix this one. This one's pretty out of whack. Before I paint them, I am gonna take them out to paint them. I'm gonna detach the drawer slides, and ones that are like this, I'm gonna try to f adjust the drawer slides a little bit. That way I can fix that because that really doesn't look too well. After the wood filler dried, I went around and did a quick sand to the drawer fronts, and now it was time to move on to the drawer pulls. These are the cabinet pulls that Becca picked. So we're gonna start installing them, because like I said, I wanna install them before I paint, that way if I mess up, I can patch over any holes that I mess up, but hopefully I don't mess up. I think installing these should be pretty simple. So what I did was I found center, both ways and then because these are three and three quarters apart from post to post i measured one and seven eighths from the center both directions 
and then found my mark. So pretty much all I should have to do is just drill some holes, install these, and it should be good to go. I've got one in, it's perfect. So I went ahead and drilled this one and just kind of tested it. It seemed to be fine. And then I started to do this one. I got my marks there, but I did not drill the holes. The reason I stopped was because I was like, wait, I don't think I want this one to be center. I would rather have it a little more up. So instead, what I'm going to do to kind of make it look aesthetically, if that's the word, I think it's the word, uh, pleasing to the eye, is I measured what the gap is from here to here, which is about seven and a half, and I'm gonna put that same gap here. So this one will be about right there. And because all of these cabinets are the same, I'm gonna do the same to all of them. That way they all line up and they all look good. It's even gonna work out for this one over here. Seven and a half is gonna look just fine. This one here is gonna be a little bit different. So whenever I get to it, I'll figure out what I'll do here. So what do you think? I love it. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Awesome. So you're gonna make dinner, right? and I'm gonna keep working. It was getting late, but I wanted to get a coat of primer on these things before the end of the night. Once all the holes were drilled, I pulled the drawers out and detached the drawer slides and then called on my resident assistant. I mean, my lovely wife. Becca! What? Hey, can you, can you help me get all these downstairs? Okay. Thank you. We got the drawers moved, we got the paint booth set up, we got the sprayer set up, and we have the first drawer that's gonna get ready to get sprayed. So one thing I am gonna do, I am gonna go over these and spot sand them real quick just to make sure. Then I'm gonna take them outside and blow them off with the blower and get ready to spray them. So I painted them over the course of multiple days until they were finally done. If you see one missing when I install them, it's because I dropped one trying to carry it without messing up the paint. Sadly, it didn't make it. I have all of the drawers painted, so the next step finally is going to be to install them and put the hardware on. So let's head upstairs after we carry all these up there and we'll start doing that. Reinstalling them was pretty easy. I made sure to number each drawer whenever I took it out so that I would know where it would go whenever I put it back in. I did accidentally paint over a couple of those numbers, but it really wasn't that big of a deal since I had most of them. So we're down to the home stretch on these things, and I'm gonna put a couple coats of poly on the face frames, as well as the inside of the drawers to help protect them and keep the paint from chipping. One little tip that I learned when I was putting poly on the actual cabinet boxes is that you don't wanna do that with a foam roller. It kinda leaves little bubbles and makes the texture kinda weird, so I'm going to brush it on instead. I'm pretty confident that I can do that and do a pretty good job. So here I go. I'm going with a clear matte poly so that these things aren't so shiny. I was pretty happy with the way they were turning out after two coats. Even though they weren't 100% dry yet, they were dry enough for me to go ahead and attach the drawer pulls, which was the final step for this video. Well, I could probably start putting some of the stuff away in some of these drawers. Nah, I better wait on Becca. So I'm finally done with the lower cabinets, other than a few adjustments to the slides. What's next? Upper cabinets. Don't worry, there's only a few of them, so it should be much quicker. I'm so over building cabinets though. Be sure to stay tuned and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our content, be sure to like and subscribe.